All right, so to be able to view your sales reports, uh, analytics, and also use your uh, marketing tools, uh, you will have to activate a few apps in the marketplace first, okay? So you will see, after you have done that, you will see this tab displayed right here, okay? Uh, so head over to Marketplace, and I'll show you, scroll down to Marketing and Analytics tab, okay, this one right here. As you can see, all the apps are already installed, okay? But I wanna show you first, okay, uh, reports. This is very important because it will allow you to access the sales reports and analytics dashboard. Okay. Then the other ones you can see right here. These are for the pixels pretty much. Okay. The Facebook pixel, Google analytics, Google tag manager. And also we have the WhatsApp API integration in case you want to integrate WhatsApp uh, with your store. Okay. So now after you install them, uh, you will see this tab displayed right here. Okay. Click it. There's a drop down menu, reports and tools. Okay. So click on reports. You will see basically your sales reports and all your analytics here. Okay. And this is very important to understand your numbers. Okay. Because without them, you have absolutely no idea what's going on in your business. Okay. So if you know your numbers, you can track, optimize and rapidly scale your store to the moon. Okay. And this is works in real time, by the way, and for all the stores, okay, your Dropshipply store, if you have a store created with Dropshipply or whether you use uh, Shopify, WordPress, uh, WooCommerce, all will be displayed here, okay? It's pretty cool. You can see all your total orders here, your canceled orders in processing, order uh, completed, okay, the total amount then uh, that's been spent on your store so far, okay, the pending, actually the, the, the canceled, uh, orders, okay, the pending, and of course, also all the revenue that your store has generated so far, okay. And below, you can also see some pretty cool information about all your orders, okay. They will all be displayed here, okay. Now, marketing tools, you go here, you click on marketing tools, you will see pretty much all these sections once you have installed all the uh, necessary apps, okay, as I showed you uh, previously, okay, so the Facebook pixel right here, this is basically where you will place all your pixels, okay, so you will start with the Facebook pixel code, okay, you will insert it right here, then the Google Analytics code, okay, you will insert it here, the Google Tag Manager, if you have a, the Google Tag Manager code, you can insert it here, you can place it here, and then the WhatsApp API integration, if you want to send messages to your customers through WhatsApp, okay, I think it's pretty cool, okay, so that's it for this video, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.